Over 3,000 Russian servicemen voluntarily surrendered in Ukraine during the months of operation of the hotline of the I want to leave project. Stop! Put machine gun on the ground. Guys, everything is fine as agreed. As agreed, all is well. The goal of the I want to leave project is to save the lives of those Russian servicemen who do not want to fight against Ukraine, want to survive and do not support the Kremlin leadership. Hotline operators also receive calls from men who are afraid of being drafted. Families and relatives of Russian servicemen, as well as those who have not yet been mobilized, are contacting our hotlines and messengers, saying that they will receive a summons one day. What should we do? We don't want to fight. We want to survive. We are hostages of the situation. We cannot escape from Russia. They panicked. There were tears among the men. I could feel it. There were also calls from servicemen who are already in Ukraine. According to Vitaly Matvienko, the number of calls increases each time Ukraine launches a counteroffensive in one of the sectors of the front. Most often, Russians are surrendering now in the Kherson direction. They do not withstand the offensive of the armed forces of Ukraine. Yesterday, when they started shooting at us, I almost fell out of my mind. This is the Kherson region. It's really deplorable here. Honey, I don't know when I'll get back home. I want to get home at least unscathed. Interception of a phone conversation. Russia blocked the website of the I want to leave project, but nevertheless could not stop the spread of information about it. Calls to the hotline continue to come from the territory of the Russian Federation, the temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine and from areas where hostilities are taking place right now. Russia blocked it, and this once again confirms that the project is working. This suggests that information has already spread on the territory of Russia and is being made public if the Russian occupation authorities are afraid of it and block websites. In order to voluntarily surrender and stay alive, the Russians need to call the project's hotline and declare their desire. Further, they will keep in touch with the servicemen, check the information and establish the location, after the organization of the exchange itself in accordance with all security measures. The basic rules are clear. Yes, this is a white flag, this is a weapon that has been thrown away. These are open hands. This is in general that simple set of gestures and symbols that shows the absence of aggressive intentions. Indeed, Ukraine is a democratic legal European state. We comply with the Geneva Conventions. Together with the announcement of mobilization in Russia, the criminal liability for voluntary surrender was tightened. Those who did so face up to 10 years in prison. The project I want to leave says that this stops many Russian mobilized people. And they remind that all military personnel who voluntarily surrendered through the project will be registered by Ukraine as taken prisoner in battle. Reported by Sergei Kulas, Viktoria Senko, UATV News.